So the next principle is Liskov substitution principle, LSP. LSP states that the object of superclass should be replaceable with the object of its subclasses without affecting the behavior of the program. So we have a class, we inherit that class, and when we inherit that class, we are extending the functionality of the superclass, but we will not be altering the behavior of the superclass. In other words, subclasses should not be forced to implement the methods or the functions that they are not supposed to. So that's the Liskov substitution principle. Let's understand it by an example. I have this code snipped. So where we have a bird class that has a method fly, it's a virtual method, so we can override it. The duck is overriding it and we are writing duck flying. And the ostrich is inheriting the bird class, but the ostrich cannot fly. So we cannot implement the fly method. But when we create the instance of a class, for example, here, the bird is the super class. We are creating instance of duck class, the subclass, and we are passing the object to the super class. When we call the duck dot fly, it will output the duck flying. But when we create the instance of ostrich class and we call the method fly, it would, it would throw an error because this is not the expected behavior for an ostrich. So we are forcing the ostrich to implement the fly method. That's violating the LSP. Let's do the hands-on for better understanding. We will extending our example and it would help you to understand the LSP. So this is the same example. Let's modify our code so that it violates the LSP and later we will see how we can modify it so that it will, it will follow all the three principles that we have discussed so far. Now let's say if we want to add the type of books, right? The books can be of a reference type. They could be the other special types. Okay, and now let's add a type of book that is called the a reference book and it will inherit the book of class okay now we'll have to uh, implement the constructor and pass the title to the super class okay let me fix the spelling here this is the reference book reference book okay okay now the, our reference book is uh, inheriting the properties of the book object now let's say if we create the object of our reference the reference books are the books that are not allowed to be checked out only the students can access it within the library now if we pass this method to the checkout and if we observe the result you can see here the refer one is checked out successfully that's completely wrong the reference books cannot be checked out to solve this issue we would have to modify the code that violates the OCP right so how can we do that the first change we can do is we can define the set here and we would set the is available is equal to false and if we run the program it will show the uh, the expected result the refer one is not available however it's not the correct solution the refer one is available but it cannot be checked out it should display the message something like that the other change we can do is we would remove this one the changes we have already done let's remove this one as well the other change we can do is we can add a new property here we'll call it is checkout allowed okay and we would have to make it set as well now if we go to the book now we, we would have to overwrite that is checked allowed is true and we can set the is checked allowed is equal to false okay for the dvds we would ha also have to make the same changes is checked allowed is equal to true now in the library service what changes we can do is First, we check the allowed property that we added if the book dot is checked allowed or not. Okay. 
if it's not you would write the message as the book is not allowed to be checked out now let's see how our program works if we run this you'll see we get the result as we expect the item is not allowed to be checked out change the reference to book and we'll see if it works as expected or not so it's working as how to kill a mockingbird is checked out successfully i hope you have understood the code the changes that we had to do this is the library server we made the changes in the library servers okay and we made the changes in the dvd in the catalog as well okay so for now it's following all the three principles and in the next video we will see how we can implement the dependence inversion principle so guys i'll see you there thank you bye bye